Google, on the other hand, well, I've got another example here of an EU antitrust where the Fitbit deal is, is facing a probe. And of course, Google acquired Fitbit 2.1 billion, increasing its footprint. This kind of s smells like the Instagram acquisition where the, you have these enormous, well, in Fitbit's case, it's the data. You have this yep. enormous, enormous data set of users that Google gets to come in and acquire for $2.1 billion. And just like that, hit that multiplier button and God knows what they can do with this information. But Google was also being attacked for, you remember the genius thing where the the rap genius, where they would have the lyrics oh, right, yeah. on, on the website. And then Google started to publish those lyrics right in the search results so you wouldn't have to visit their site. Mm -hmm. Now, Sundar had to actually come up with a defense for that because uh, the, 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 the company Genius, they actually embedded a secret code inside of those lyrics so that they could prove that Google wasn't deriving those lyrics from elsewhere, that they were just sweeping the site and then publishing that there. They, they had a similar accusation about Yelp with Yelp reviews. Google is your highway on the internet. And if they want to stick a sign in your way and that sign stops you from having to make a turn to get that information and bring that value to somebody else, they can do it and no one can stop them. Mm -hmm. And this is where this power thing comes in. And this is where this analysis comes in. So Google's got a ton of potential avenues for attack when it comes to the anti-competitive conversation. M maybe the most.